Uh, Hedera Armadillo is actually a name that came about almost in jest between our owner and his brother-in-law, uh, thinking there was no way that that name would ever make it. And here we are five, six years later, and uh, it's, it's who we are, it's what we do. We were just right down the block from downtown, um, and we want to be a neighborhood spot. We started as draft only. We didn't have a, a package solution outside of kegging our product. Uh, and we saw a really precipitous, I mean, sharp increase in demand in the market when we started canning. It's a three-man crew on production right now. Our total barrel output right now is somewhere between 12 and 1300, which for us is almost 40% growth over last year. And growth over the previous year from the year before that was 96%. It was an easy decision for us to get into canning when it came time to choosing a, you know, a packaging solution for the brewery. Um, so with the style of beer that we make and market trends and desires and our own personal preferences, we all like drinking out of cans as well. Um, plus the fact that they're endlessly recyclable. Um, you can take them basically anywhere to the lake, you know, to water where glass can't go. Um, they get colder faster, stay colder longer. Uh, there's just a million reasons for us to, to be in cans and so we, we really couldn't imagine doing it any other way. We, we bought a canning line um, at about 18 months. It, it was a little more manual, it was the SAMS line. Uh, it was a smaller footprint that really turned out to be a very uh, robust but simple system that really taught us as operators how to be really good at packaging beer in cans. Um, so when we decided to, to really go after 2018 and, and grow aggressively, it seemed just a natural progression to contact Cask and, and say, hey, we really want to build on this relationship that we already have with you, especially when they were releasing a brand new line, the micro ACS, and it you know, was poised to do all of the things that we wanted to do, including our aspirations to co-package nitro cold brew coffee as well. Flat out, the, the Max does it and a lot don't. Um, we're actually going to be canning um, our coffee in 8.4 ounce or 250 mil cans, which by comparison to beer standards are in incredibly small. Um, but the Max has the ability to adapt down to a can dimension that small and still be you know, extremely precise, which is a huge bonus for us. Um, so the, the measure of a, a good canning line process is how low you can get your total package oxygen or dissolved oxygen because uh, oxidation obviously stales beer and makes it taste older faster. Um, and we're seeing six months or longer uh, on our shelf life for unrefrigerated beer, which is just, that's just out of this world for the kind of quality that uh, we can generate on, on a cask line. Uh, the cool thing with the Max that uh, we've never seen this uh, with any other line is that it has individual fill head control. Now we can actually dial in each individual can and we can get all the cans plus or minus one or two grams from each other, which um, again is just an incredibly, level, incredibly high level of control that a lot of other manufacturers are just not offering right now. So we feel really indebted to CASP for helping us get into the market. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm not a paid spokesperson for CASP, but all I can say is that they are the best company we have ever worked with and we work with a lot of vendors. Uh, I can't wait to do business with them, with them for a really long time. I can't wait to see what, what kind of cool stuff they come out with in the next five or ten years.